In this short video, we will be demonstrating what happens to our blood when we are using our mobile phones and what we do to protect ourselves. And if you stick around to the end of this short video, I have one question I would like to ask you. In this video, we will look at what live blood analysis is and the impact the photonic square had on this analysis. Live blood analysis is a screening test that allows for the observation of the various components of a blood sample and can help to determine the functionality of the blood system. Human blood is composed of 45% cellular components, namely red and white blood cells and platelets, and 55% plasma. Blood has many functions, including transporting oxygen, regulating body temperature and supporting the immune system. The condition of our blood directly correlates to the state of our health and can be a reflection of diet, lifestyle and environmental factors. During the live blood analysis test, a pinprick needle is used to extract a drop of blood from the tip of the test subject's finger. The sample is placed directly onto a glass slide and examined immediately under a microscope of up to a thousand times magnification. The sample is illuminated in a way that makes even the tiniest details visible. Analyzing the blood in this way allows for the various components and function of the blood to be observed as they exist in the body. The photonic square helps to protect against the negative effects of certain electromagnetic radiation by attaching it directly to devices such as mobile phones and tablets which emit such radiation. So we tested the square against the use of a mobile phone and tablet using live blood analysis, firstly to see if the radiation emitted from such devices did indeed affect the blood and then to see if attaching the photonic square to the devices had any impact on the results. In this study, an initial sample was taken from the test subject. The subject's food and fluid intake had been monitored and no mobile phone had been used prior to testing. The first sample showed a healthy blood picture with red blood cells free-flowing, healthy cell membranes and clean plasma. 30 minutes later, a 20-minute mobile phone call was made by the test subject with the phone placed directly to the ear. 10 minutes later, a second blood sample was taken. The second sample showed a compromised blood picture with red blood cells clumping together, cell membranes puckering and blood flow inhibited. 30 minutes later the test subject made a second 20 minute mobile phone call with the phone placed directly to the ear, however this time the photonic square had been applied to the device. 10 minutes later a third blood sample was taken. The third sample showed an improved blood picture with healthy round red blood cells, improved cell membranes and restored blood flow. The images suggest that the application of the photonic square has negated the negative effects of mobile phone usage on the subject's blood sample. This data set can be viewed in full on the research page of the biophotonic.uk website. And the question I have for you is this. Would you please help us all by sharing this video? Thank you.